Hey everybody, it's me, Zanya, and the holidays are upon us, and the charcuterie board is all the rage. But when you think about that fabulous thing, which I love, but it has a lot of processed meat on it, prosciutto and salami and ham, and does it have to be that way? And then cheese. Well, some cheese with the proper balance of other things can be good, but are there some lower fat delicious cheeses? Well, yes, there are. How would I do a charcuterie board? How many vegetables versus fruits versus meat and cheese would I have? And what else would I do than processed meat? Because I don't do processed meat, none zeroes it. Well, let me show you my charcuterie board. Um, right here, ladies and gentlemen, I have chosen for the featured meat on my board, I have chosen to make a Jamaican jerk pork tenderloin and you could do it with chicken breast instead but it was delicious it cooked in just um, 35 minutes in the oven I seared the edges and, and roasted it 40 uh, minute 400 degrees for 25 minutes so quick and easy and delicious and then the cheese that I'm choosing I love to use a fresh mozzarella cheese and only five grams of fat per ounce it's so delicious and nice and light I also tried this Charlesburg light which is a delicious Swiss Swiss in general is lower in fat but this is even lower which is great and then this is a Cabot I love Cabot from Vermont they make the most flavorful cheeses this is a light sharp and it is just distinctively wonderful and sharp and so those are my two cheeses that I have here um, I have my cheddar here and the Swiss here. Apples, grapes, raspberries. These are artichokes um, marinated from a jar that I added here. The highest thing in antioxidants, ladies and gentlemen, artichokes always include them. Cranberries and some figs. I picked up these mission figs from Aldi. They're so nice and lovely. And olives, both green and black Kalamata. Kalamata, they're very signature. I have just a few. I don't have a lot because I'm not crazy about olives, but I like a little bit. And the two cracker choices that I chose, I went with this. The ingredients are quite clean and good. I have a row of these on the side right there. But I also found these at Aldi. I'm really loving these. Uh, they have two different varieties and I used these. And these were from Aldi clean ingredients, so I have those. And a little bit of dried pear, lovingly made by my stepmom. And we have some nice, deep, dark uh, mustards to flavor our, our little, little, crackers and to put this all together whether you use the apples the crackers the nuts you put it all together and of course we have dark chocolate and I went with green and black organic nice little squares of dark chocolate but I also want you to notice the meat to cheese ratio usually there's a lot of meat and a lot of cheese and I have it balanced with extra fruit and veggie and look at this extra veggie on the side very important with hummus I will tell you, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a healthy way to do your charcuterie board, and I hope you will enjoy and do the same. Thanks. See you soon.